Hi everyone, my name is Terry McAvoy. I am a registered nurse working with Healthcare Australia. I've been working with Healthcare Australia, I think, for about 12 months now. I came to Australia in November 2015 and started with them right away, and I haven't looked back. Um, I originally started working um, in nursing in my nursing career in Ireland and I decided after four years I'd come to Australia and see what it had to offer. Um, as I said, I haven't looked back. It's been absolutely incredible and the opportunities have been endless. Um, so I usually get a lot of questions via Instagram, Snapchat, asking me um, basically the same questions. So I said I'd do a bit of a QA and a with you guys now and um, I've written out all my frequently asked questions and I'm going to answer them here on um, this video. So if you like it, let me know and I can do some more of these videos for you guys um, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first question that I always get asked is how much experience do I need? So we recommend that you have at least 12 months um, medical surgical experience. Um, we say that because we really need you guys to hit the ground running when you come to Australia. You are gonna be an agency nurse and you are gonna be walking on towards for the first time and it's good to know your basics before anything else. Um, so that's why we kind of recommend that you have the 12 months experience. Um, any experience after that is an absolute bonus. And um, it's just to cover yourself basically. It's to be safe on the ward and to have that experience to be able to look at, look after um, four to six patients independently um, with kind of minimal, I suppose, support. Um, in saying that though, we do offer a buddy system. So if you feel like you've got even four years experience and you're just still a little bit nervous about coming to Australia and working in a foreign kind of country and I suppose um, a different kind of environment, we do offer a buddy system here um, in Australia as well. So another question that I get is how long does APRA take? So this can vary, it depends on your application and how well that you do it. I took about two months to prepare my application and I think I got my registration, um, I got my approval of my registration within six weeks. Now I've heard horror stories that it can take up to nine months um, and that's okay, it's just because Basically, people haven't filled out the form well enough. They um, APRA require some more documents to back it up. So when you are doing your APRA, um, I would strongly advise that you spend some time on it, um, a lot of time if you can. Really be very thorough with everything and read all the instructions. The answers are all there if you read them really well. For those of you who don't know what APRA is, APRA is basically the Board of Australia in which you need to register it to work as a nurse. So in Ireland, we have onboard alternates and in Australia, we have APRA. Is Sydney easy to commute around? So I get this question a lot. Um, yeah, Sydney is really easy to get around. There's so many trains, so many buses. Um, I found it really, really easy to get around when I first got here. It wasn't daunting at all. So the next question is accommodation easy to find. Um, I found it really, really easy. We used an app called Airbnb and when we first got to Australia, we um, landed in Sydney, of course, and we went straight to a share house. So basically we lived with two other people in a house in Erskineville, it was. Um, and we booked that through Airbnb. We block booked um, some accommodation for two months and gave ourselves a little bit of time to kind of find um, where we wanted to live, what areas we really liked, and um, I suppose go to an estate agent and get set up and sign a contract. So yeah, it was pretty easy um, if I'm being honest. Um, every city I believe is the same and um, that Airbnb app is definitely thumbs up. I definitely give it thumbs up. What do I need when I arrive with regards to bank account um, set up and SIM card details? So basically, um, from my experience, and this is all going to be given to you through my experience, when I came to Australia, within a day, I had my SIM card and my bank account all set up. Um, you basically just need your passport and um, an address of where you're staying. So if you're staying in a hostel, um, an Airbnb, just bring the address of where you are, bring your passport, and you can set up a bank account quite easily. Um, with regards to a SIM card, it's the same thing, you just go in with your passport and um, go to whatever um, phone, ne phone network that you guys prefer. I'm with Optus and um, they're quite good, um, coverage is really good and they have some good deals for prepay and um, mobile customers. I also get a lot of questions asking about the cash for hours um, offer that Healthcare Australia do do. Do do. Um, so basically, if you work in a public hospital, you get two points for every hour that you work. And if you work in a private hospital, you get one point for every hour that you work. So if you work 30 hours in one week for a private hospital, for a public hospital, you get 60 points. Now, once those points reach 500, you can cash them in and you can get $500 back for 500 points. 
it's very good I loved it um, and when you work private um, obviously you just get the one point and you just kind of build it up from there but it's a really good system it's like a little bonus at the end of the month um, or at the end of um, a couple of months whatever way you want to spread out your shifts and it's really really handy because you can bank it and um, keep it for say Christmas or something is it okay to travel and work with Healthcare Australia at the same time absolutely so Healthcare Australia do promote that work-life balance um, kind of lifestyle so you are on a zero hour contract so if you want to go up the coast for two weeks you can do that and that's exactly what I did and um, you're not obliged to take any shifts and um, so you can go traveling up the coast or if you want to go for longer you can also work in Sydney you know work in um, Melbourne you could work in Brisbane Gold Coast whatever Healthcare Australia is such a big company and they do cover all the main um, cities, I suppose, in Australia. So if you wanted to travel a little bit and work at the same time, you could definitely do that as well. You know, the question that I get is, is Healthcare Australia sponsoring nurses? Yes, they are. I am currently sponsored by Healthcare Australia and um, it works really, really well for those of you who are asking. Um, and if you want more information on this, you can email me. I'll leave my um, email address just here on the screen somewhere and you guys can send me over an email and I can just kind of shoot you over to the right person and let you know. Um, next question is farm work um, so I get asked this a lot so for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about when I say farm work um, unfortunately if you are on the holiday working visa you are required to do um, some farm work in order to get your second year um, or you can always just go and get sponsored. Um, so next question is how is your lifestyle better than what it was in Ireland? So basically um, my lifestyle in Ireland was completely different to what I have here. Um, on my days off I go to the beach um, after work I go to the beach and um, just the whole balance is just so much easier than what I was um, I suppose experienced back experiencing back at home. What is the average workload? Um, so basically um, the patient nurse ratio here is a lot lower. When you work in public you could have um, max four patients um, and if you work in private sometimes it's five patients sometimes it's six patients and then you're working with an AIN which is the equivalent of a health care attendant um, back at home. Um, you also have a nurse educator on the ward who is always always willing to help the agency staff. I find them extremely helpful and um, you also have a buddy, nur buddy nurse as well in the private system so you have a nurse working opposite to you and if you need any help at all they can come and give you a hand. So next question is are midwives accepted by HCA and um, do they hire them? Yes they do and um, we've got quite a lot of um, midwives working um, and I do see them around quite a lot. So last question what are the shifts like in Australia compared to Ireland? So back at home in Ireland I was working from 7.30 to um, 8.30 at night. There, there's three different shifts. Um, so you can work from seven until 2.30, that's with Healthcare Australia, um, because the hospitals book them for seven hour shifts. Or you can work from 2.30 to um, 10 o'clock at night. And then obviously you have your night shift, which works from 9.30 to um, 7.00. 30 I think a.m. I don't do many night shifts um, so yeah that's the three shifts I tend to always pick the morning shifts because then I have the whole day to go to the beach do what I want and catch up with my friends so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little Q&A and if there's any more questions please send them on on my email address that I just flashed um, a few minutes ago so yeah thanks so much for watching and I hope that you all have a really nice day and hopefully I'll see you all soon in Australia bye